Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunn again. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardson Forge outdoor pendant called the Portico Drum. This is going to be the 362010. Let's get into details on this. So, the body of the fixture is going to be the bottom part independent of the telescoping rods, and the height on that is going to be 20.1 inches. Diameter is going to come in at 32, so it's a pretty good, robust size fixture. If you're familiar with Hubbardson Forge, they have a patent on the whole telescoping rod idea for the lighting industry. This rod telescopes into the bigger rod. Where they come together is called a clutch, and there's a set screw hiding right on the side of it right there. It's going to come with this little wrench, and during your installation, you can bring this up or down to get it where you want it to be. There are going to be three different versions of this, and it's really important to order the one that's right for you. Do not hesitate to contact me on that. I would love to work with you on it. So when you add these things together, this and then the body of the fixture, now we get what's called overall height, and that includes the canopy and the ceiling. So it's really ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. So you've got the short is going to be 31.9 to 39.8. The standard is going to be 37.1 to 48.8, and the long is going to be 48.2 to 60.8. If you need this shorter than the short, huh, shorter than the short, shorter than the short, or longer than the long, we do customs every day. It's all the time. So you'd come to me and say, I'm looking at the 362010. I need it to be uh, 25 inches overall height from the ceiling down, or longer than the long. I take your email, I send it over to the customs department at Hubbardson Forge. They look at it and quote it out for me, it comes back to me and I send it to you. Adds a little more time, a little more money, and non-returnable, but it's a very easy thing. It's the beauty of Hubbardson Forge that it's all made here in Vermont so we can do these kind of things for you. So moving on from there, canopy up on the ceiling is going to be 4.9 inches in diameter and it's going to go over your four inch junction box. Because this is an outdoor fixture, it is not slope ceiling adaptable. If you're going to use this inside, you can do it on a flat ceiling as is. If you have a slope ceiling and you're going to use this inside, I have done these custom with a knuckle built at the top of this, allowing it to be slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees for interior use only as a custom. So contact me about that too if you want to. I want to show you a lot more details on everything I just said. And how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the install sheets. These are going to be the papers that are going to be in the box when you get this. How we do that is if you're on the page for this on our site, handmadeinvermont.com, Look over on the right-hand side of the screen, and you're going to see a link. It's going to say mid, it's midway down. L uh, click here for installations instructions PDF. So open that up for me. There's a lot of good info there for you. It's going to show you how the telescoping rods work. It's going to show you how that canopy is going to go on your junction box, how the glass is going to fit in. All those great little details are there for you, and some good technical drawings too. So let's talk about what's inside of this as far as socket goes. It's going to be using a candelabra base socket, and that's going to be the smaller screw in socket. Uh, Hubbardson says that you can use what's called a G bulb, and that's a globe bulb. However, um, I think you're better off actually using a Type B torpedo shape. It's going to bring the light higher up. It's also going to be able to get into the glass easier. You can see how that works in there. Great. So this guy, which I got my local hardware store, I found um, easily up to 40, well, 40 watt equivalent, and they're going to limit you for a 60 watt equivalent in each of these for incandescent, which you could do with no problem. But if you want to go LED, uh, 40 watt equivalent I would probably do to begin with because you've got five sockets so just remember that's 200 watt equivalent um, but you can find these bulbs up to a 60 watt equivalent 75 watt equivalent you can even find these up to a hundred watt equivalent if you look hard enough out on the marketplace but like I said you've got five sockets so I think you should just stick with the 40s but it's totally up to you you can also choose your color temperature so I've talked about this all the time. If you like the glow of an incandescent bulb, that is 3000 Kelvin. That's a warm white. That's what I tend to like, especially on a fixture like this. And um, so that's going to be 3000 Kelvin. If you like the cooler, whiter light, like a doctor's office light, some people do, that's going to be 4000, 5000 Kelvin. So really keep you know abreast of the situation when you're looking at boxes in a store or if you're on Amazon and it'll tell you right off the bat what that color temperature is. The other thing is I would get a dimmable version of this so I could dim this down. So I would, you know, going down from 200 watt equivalent, I can bring that down. So if you are using this in a situation like in a patio or a covered porch or something like that, and you want to make this nice soft outdoor lighting for after dinner, sitting out with coffee with your friends, you'll be able to 
get these down to almost candle power. It would be really, really pretty. So uh, that said, you've got a couple different types of glass that this is going to be able to be available in. Opal is going to be the white one. Remember, both of them are going to be closed tops so and no bugs get in. You have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the opal, which is going to be our white one, and I'll talk more about that in a second. The other option is going to be called seated clear, and that's going to be the same piece of glass, but it's going to be just a clear piece of glass, hand-blown still. It's going to have little air bubbles trapped in it. So remember, when you do the opal glass, it's an opaque white. It's going to hide this. When you do the uh, seated clear, you're going to be able to see this. It's just another reason why you should do a decorative bulb inside, and it should be good to go. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting, and the reason they do that is because Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. They're all made out of aluminum for a reason, because it holds up beautifully, it welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So, on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible, and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture. And they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, wire coming down. They run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell. And it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right? Where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen. Limited lifetime warranty for residential use. And check it out, and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubberton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a What's On display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. 
And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.